Welcome back to What Could Go Wrong. Speaking of what could go wrong, what could go wrong when recording this video? Could my power go out again? It is a real hot day, but a lot of people are running their air conditioning, myself included, so you never know. The electricity grid could get overloaded again. Let's hope not. All right, anyway, let's take a look at the last month of things that kind of went wrong, but people should have realized that from the beginning. What could go wrong killing this big spider? This sounds like a good one to start with. Oh God, it's gonna turn into babies. It's gonna turn into babies. No, no. Ah, I knew it was coming too. Cause that's always with a, it's literally my worst nightmare to have that happen to me. If it ever does, I've said I'll burn down my house as a joke many times, but if that happens, I might have no other choice. Cause what am I gonna, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I can't, I can't get rid of all the, oh. Oh, uh, it's just I've seen variations of that gif many times and it's like why are they filming do they realize are they like you know what it's gonna make great internet content I know that smashing this is gonna spread babies everywhere but what can you do you gotta do it for the content I'll just pose for a picture here what could go wrong <laughs> I hope that the photo was snapped just as she got completely obliterated by the wave because that would just make the best Instagram photo. I bet you you get more likes if you have a photo of you getting obliterated by the wave than just the elegant shot of you with the aesthetic wave crashing behind you. I wonder like also why were they filming? Is this person being a creep or was he like, oh, I see what's about to happen and just whipped it out. Not that. No, it's, no, don't don't you interpret it that way. OK. Bringing a motorcycle inside the apartment building. What could go wrong? Oh God, he's gonna accidentally accelerate it. It's that's what's gonna happen. He's gonna accidentally pull the throttle and it's gonna go really badly. Or that. That's, that was kind of not what I expected to have happen. I figured he was gonna accelerate it and then we were gonna switch over to another camera angle and he lost control of that real quickly. Everything looked so promising, and then it was just like, well, nope, we're falling. It's all over, folks. I feel like this must be something he's done on a regular basis, though, because you don't just move into a place and go, you know what? I'm going to move my bike inside today. What were you going to do? Were you going to take that into the elevator and take it up to... It just seems like a strange idea. Although, I don't know, maybe he lives in one of those places where they have the car elevators, but usually he enters through the garage, not the front door. Do those condo buildings that have car elevators that bring the car to your unit? It's one of them near Miami. Oh, it's so brilliant. I, want, I have a life goal to have one of those one day. Because how sick would that be to just freaking ride your car up to your unit high floor and then you just have a glass wall from your living room that lets you see your cars it'd be the sickest thing in the world i will cover myself in petrol for a cool skateboard trick what could go wrong a lot of stuff i would imagine all right so you're gonna light your you're wearing some uh i assume those are pants that are kind of built for being lit on fire but you're also just wearing a t-shirt so that doesn't seem entirely safe because the flames are just going to go right up your legs and onto the unprotect. Yeah. Never in my life have I seen someone abandon ship so quickly. <laughs> like, you do know that he... Have you ever put your hand over a candle? You ever done that? It's pretty hot. And it's just a little tiny little flame. But it's, it's pretty toasty. Have you ever been near a large fire? Even, even though air is a very poor conductor of heat, even being horizontal to a large fire is pretty toasty. So that should tell you something about if you combine large fire and being above it, it's not going to be a good time for you. Like I could understand maybe you light the path on fire and you skate through it, but why did you light yourself on fire? Could have made for a cool photo if you just ignored the part where you lit yourself on fire. I don't, I don't get it. I don't, I don't understand that one. What could go wrong? Attempted robbery at a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Academy. I hope that this is going to be like real gratifying. Of all, let me try to rob a place where everyone is very well equipped to handle what I'm doing. And not bring a weapon either. That's, he's like, okay, I'm out. Peace. We'll see. <laughs> Ha! 
that was a lot less violent than I had anticipated. He's just like, nope. You, you just got although it's like a, a okay how how long is it gonna take for us to figure out how to get through the turnstile in reverse really dude you really didn't case that joint first what did you think no no weapon either all right well it was very non-violent he was just like oh i'm so sorry to interrupt your jujitsu session guys i'm out i'll see you guys later uh let me just throw a, a apple at this person what could go wrong <laughs> dang <laughs> oh my god i like how he just proceeds to turn around as if nothing happened if i had thrown an apple at someone and just had it splatter on their head you bet i'd be like dang i didn't know my own strength i'm impressed with myself right now he's like nah we cool just walk away cool guys don't look at explosions dang wrecked hit me with your truck what could go wrong oh god why would you You know, on the bright side there, he didn't die. So, yes, this seems like a great idea. No, dude, I'm just going to stand here and hold the ball. Just hit me. Just drive your truck right into me. No, it'll totally work fine. Haven't you seen those videos where two people have bouncy balls and they run at each other? Like, your truck is, it's basically just that, right? You know, it's pretty much, there's no additional mass or metal or a surface area that can hit anything other than the ball that I'm holding. 12 years old, goes out in the middle of a storm to soothe and show her sister that's very unlikely to get hit by a lightning. What could go wrong if I attempt to type a sentence into Reddit? I'm like, am I suddenly lacking the ability to read? No, I just, this is not a, <laughs> okay. I don't know what this means, but let's see. That's a lot of rain coming out of that gutter. Oh my God. Okay, are you gonna get hit by lightning or is your umbrella gonna fold and you're gonna get dumped on? I'm trying to figure out what's gonna go on. What's gonna happen here? Are you gonna fly away? Is it? Oh my God. Well, that was a thing. That's, a, that's wow, all right. What are the odds of that happening? How loud is that? Because you think about the sound of thunder after the lightning. What if the lightning is on you? How loud is that? Is it deafening? Is it like that's all for your ears? Not even thinking about the other components that, of your body that are in trouble from that? But I don't know. Let me kick a beer can off your head. What could go wrong? Well, I assume a kick in the face. Ow. You know... I can never understand why people... Oh, well, at least you're in good spirits after that. Looked like you were amused at the fact that you just got kicked in the head. Hey, you're going to get more views this way anyway. If he had hit it cleanly, yeah, you would have gotten a few views, whatever. This, your Snapchat story is popping. I just can never understand what people are like. Yeah, just shoot, kick, punch, do whatever to this thing on top of my head. I trust you completely. I'm like, no. I barely even trust people to drive me around when I'm in the passenger seat. You think I'm gonna trust you with something speeding at my head? No thanks. Five guys dropping in together, what could go wrong? Oh, I've seen this in person before plenty of times. Everyone's gonna fall on their butt and or break their wrists by trying to brace themselves backwards with their arms. So here we go, folks. Everyone's gonna fall back. Yep, that's exact. oh, one dude made it out alive. Are all their boards attached to each other? Because then even if you're good, you're going down. Like, you're you're only as strong as the worst person here, unfortunately. Tony Hawk would have fallen in this situation. Ah, the old backyard mini ramps. Far too narrow for me to ever be really comfortable doing anything on. And the old super sharp transition, which I made a quarter pipe once. It was super guilty of the super sharp transition where you basically make the ramp almost vertical and it's like four feet tall. You're like, oh, this doesn't work very well. Shoot. Um, rob this purse, what could go wrong? Oh, look at him being all stealthy, trying to get, oh man. He's wearing camo, going after a black car on purpose so that nobody notices. And then, well, no one even needed to try to stop the guy. He's just unable to ride the escape bike. Just, ah, uh, shoot, I probably should have learned to ride this before I tried to steal something on it. Bummer. Let's illegally block the road with our cars that we need to travel. What could go wrong? 
I do not get it. What do you mean? What the? Whoa! I need some context here. What is happening? Is this like some kind of protest? And people just decided they were gonna block the road? This has happened in LA a few times. Not with cars though. It's just pedestrians have gotten onto the freeway and blocked it and stuff like that. That's not happened though. Like the bus didn't decide to plow through the pedestrians, which is probably a good thing. Jesus. That bus driver was like, no, I'm, I have a job to do. I'm not gonna be late. And uh, I don't appreciate this. So I will uh, be seeing you all later. I need some context though. What, what was happening here? Um, demonstrators protesting the impeachment process threatening Brazilian President Dilma Rousseff occupied dozens of highways in major cities during rush hour Thursday morning, causing long backups. Organizers claim that 30 highways in nine Brazilian states were blocked. I'll ruin this guy's trick. What could go wrong? We've actually seen this one before, and it's quite beautiful. <laughs> Oh, it is a great one to review, though. Oh, man. <laughs> you know, afterwards, he's like, shit, I hope that I didn't actually hurt you and that you don't come and sue me, because that was not supposed to happen. Being duct taped against a door. Oh, God, are you just going to get slammed into the wall? Or are you about to hang yourself? Oh, my God. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, that doesn't seem like nearly enough tape. Yeah, I mean, I suppose you could probably lift yourself up with things that were still attached. Otherwise, it would just, like, disconnect. Whoa. What was the whole plan here? I don't really get what you were going for because door hinges, they're not, like, that strong. It's really bad for your door hinges. I also feel really silly that the first thing I'm thinking about is, oh, the poor door hinges, they're going to be under so much stress here. Is this a reverse prank? Where you're waiting for someone to open the door and then they smash you into the wall? It's like, ha ha ha! You really got me good. I'm the one who set this up, and I am also the victim of it. I love setting myself up for pranks where I am the victim. That's how pranks work, right? Helium's expensive. Let's just use acetylene. What could go wrong? I'm gonna assume, uh, I've heard the name of this before, but I'm gonna assume it's something flammable. Let's, let's find out. At least it's not hydrogen or something, or maybe this is worse than hydrogen. But, uh, as a, there's a good reason. Oh, boy! That's flammable. Yes, it is. Yeah, there's a, there's a real good reason why you don't use hydrogen to fill up balloons because a, they would float, but they would also turn into the Hindenburg. Um, I think hydrogen is more of like a, a kaboom, an explosive pop, whereas this seemed more slow burning. I, I don't know, really. That might be completely off base, but just a lot of... <laughs> Very scared people who are never going to go near balloons ever again in their lives because of this incident. Anyway, I guess that was it for uh, this week, this month of what could go wrong. Uh, there were a few posts that couldn't be shown due to not safe for work slash fighting videos, which are against YouTube's terms of service. So we can't show those, unfortunately, even though they might be interesting to watch. Um, but in any case, hopefully you've enjoyed. Make sure to like if you like. Check the playlist in the description if you want to uh, watch more Reddit-related videos. And subscribe if you're not already. And if you want to, uh, oh yeah, there was, there was, I, I did release a new music track yesterday. So if you want to check that out, it's linked in the description slash outro. And I'll see you next time.